Hey, what's up students? Let's do the outdated office ouchie. Use the provided proportion model to find the missing values. So we have some students. We have correct points. We have total points. We have percentage. And then we have a bonus. Um, so basically, I'm going to give you several of these pieces. you got to fill them out and find the missing pieces. So here we go. Huey! We don't have the correct points, but we do know the total points and we do know the percentage. So for Huey, I'm going to start... With a blank proportion. Sorry about the first line's off a little bit. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and erase it. Here we go. We're better than that. We can make better proportions. There we go. So we don't know the correct whole number of points, but we do know the total was 79. And we do know the percentage was 78.5 and always going to be 100 down here. So basically, this is just a more advanced uh, percent model situation. So when you cross multiply and divide, um, I believe you get, I just pre-calculated on my calculator, it says 62.015. So 62.015. Um, so I'm guessing Huey had a total of 62 correct points or scored 62 points. Uh, no decimals allowed. It says whole number. So we don't really care about that right there. All right, cool. Moving on. Let's try Dewey. So it switched to green here. Here we go. All right, Mr. Dewey got 42 correct. So 42 is going to go right here over. We don't know how many total points, but we do have Dewey's, excuse me, percentage 47.7. That's not too good. All right, here we go. Cross, multiply, and divide. Bing, bang, boom. Let's see what we get. So when we cross, multiply, and divide, I got it pre-calculated. I got 88. 0 0.05 and then a bunch of gibberish. So rounded to the nearest point, I'm guessing that was going to be 88 total points. So do we got 42 out of 88, which yielded his percentage. Louis, the last one, that's kind of the easiest of all two. You don't even really need the model for this one, students. If you just go 121 divided by 131, you would get a decimal, and that decimal is 0 0.923664 and then a bunch of gibberish okay so that is the percentage if you move the decimal over one two places so to the nearest tenth though means we got a round right here okay so we're going to round that to 92 point now the six is going to round three up to a four so 92 point Four, okay. Um, remember, when you round to a certain place in percentages, make sure you change it to a percent, and then you round to the tenths place. So the tenths place of the percent is actually the thousands place of the decimal. Ooh, fun fact. All right, ooh, this is a good one here. Bonus. Donnie missed 29 points and got a 79.29 on his test. How many total points were on the test? Ooh, this is a good one. And the marker is really big. Holy cow, let's move that down to a regular size, please. There we go. All right, cool. All right, so here's how I attack this one, students. Um, you would still want to keep, um, let's see, where did I, I think, where did I put this one? So 29 total points. Oh, here we go. So I want to put the 29 right here. And then I want to put the I don't know for the total, right? So here we go. So instead of the percent or the number correct, I'm now going to put the number wrong. So I can't figure out how many I got correct because I don't know the total. Because either you get them right or you get them wrong. So starting with the wrong ones, okay, I'm going to put that right there. Okay, and then I'm going to try to find the total based off the wrong. But what's tricky is I give you the percent correct. Well, here's what you should do, students. I'm going to put a 100 down here still. And then right here, I'm going to do 100 minus the 70. 9.29 okay so hang with me here just for one second all right so 29 is how many i got wrong sorry i got wrong donnie 20 uh, 29 is how many donnie got wrong so if you take away the percent correct subtraction 100 minus the percent correct would be the percent wrong so this is the number wrong and this is the percent wrong, then you can figure out the total. So if you erase that really quick, do I have this number calculated? I don't know if I do. Okay. I don't think I can do some mental math here. 
<clears throat> it's like 20 point something. Yeah, so it'd be 20 point. Okay, so let's see here. That'd be 29.71. Here we go. Yep, because 71 and 29 would add to a whole. So that would move it up to 80 and then 20 left. There you go. So that's the percent wrong. So this is the questions wrong and this is the percent wrong. Okay, so I had to do a little bit of math there. I had to subtract it from 100. Okay, so from here I can cross multiply and divide. And when I do that, the calculator gives me a 140.028, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so to the nearest whole number, go away. I'm guessing there was 140 points, whole points on that test. Okay, so you can do some math to double check. So let's see here. If you missed 29 out of 140, I think that would get you to 111. So if you take 111 and divide it by 140, guess what you get? Do, 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 This guy right there. Okay, so again, that last one was pretty tricky. You got to take the number missed, and then you have to change the percent correct to percent wrong. So that way you're wrong over X equals wrong percent over 100%. And then you can win that one. All right, cool, friends. That is the outdated office ouchie.